Hello, how are you? That is a that is a really awkward way to start a video. Jesus. I hope you uh, I hope you like that intro. It was nice and peaceful. If you did like it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, maybe hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, because I've got a ton of video editing and filmmaking content on this channel, and I don't want you to miss any of it. Last week, I created a video that was all about my favorite plugins for DaVinci Resolve. If you haven't seen that yet, I highly suggest you check it out. It'll be linked in the description and in the end card and in a card somewhere, you, you get the idea. It'll be linked in all the places. This week, we're taking a closer look at Motion VFX, which is one of the plugins that I mentioned in that video. It's also the place where I got all of the titles and effects and LUTs and graphics that I used in that little intro sequence. Now, full disclosure, the link to Motion VFX that's in the description of this video is an affiliate link, and Motion VFX did send me a few of their packs to try out for free. However, Motion VFX is not sponsoring this video, no money exchanged hands. They don't get a say in the things that I say in this video and they don't get to see this video before it's published. So this is an open, honest, unbiased review. Although to be fair, it's probably gonna sound a little bit like a commercial at times because well, it's one of my favorite plugins and I really, really, I really like it. Anyway, let's start at the beginning with uh, describing exactly what motion VFX is. And basically they create assets for videos. So things like LUTs and stock elements and visual effects and templates and motion graphics and animated titles. You get the idea. They make a lot of stuff. Now they started off only making things for Final Cut Pro, but they've recently started making things for DaVinci Resolve, which is super exciting. And it's super easy to use. You download the M installer, which is their installer app onto your computer. And then when you purchase a pack from your website, it's automatically gonna download using that installer. And then when you click install, anything that can be installed directly into DaVinci Resolve will be put in the effects library. And then LUTs are gonna go to a downloads folder. And so are stock effects, I believe the stock elements that can be used anywhere. I think those go into a downloads folder as well. But all of the effects that are DaVinci Resolve specific will just automatically get installed in DaVinci Resolve. You don't have to go opening up folders or dragging and dropping or anything. It's just all done for you. It makes it super, super easy. And once that's done, you can just open up DaVinci Resolve and get to work. You just need to know what you're searching for. And then you can favorite some of the effects that you're gonna use over and over and over again and have it organized however you want. But it, it's all just there. Now, like I said, I have a few of the packs. I have their M Hello pack, which is actually a free pack that they're giving away. So if you click the link in the description, you can go and pick up that pack for free and just try it out and get a little bit of a sampler of all of the other packs that they have available. I also have M Tuber 2, which is a whole bunch of animated graphics and titles and text and effects that are specifically made for YouTubers. It was the first pack that I actually bought. And then th recently I got a few packs for free from Motion VFX for review. So I've got M Lut Cine, which is a pack of like 35 cinema inspired LUTs. I've got M Title Cine, which is a whole bunch of animated titles and captions for videos. And they look really, really, <laughs> really good. And then I've also got M 16 millimeter, which has a whole bunch of retro film effects. They also just released a pack called M intro two, which is just a collection of a whole bunch of different elements that you can combine to make your own animated intros, which sounds really, really cool. I think I want to check that one out for myself. And they've also got a ton of stock elements that you can use for compositing, like light leaks and rain and snow and fire and fog and smoke and you get the idea. So now that you know who Motion VFX is, what they do and the things that they have available for you, let's actually dive into the review. And we're gonna do this basically the same way that I do every other review. We're gonna look at a few key factors like the quality of the product, the ease of use, the opportunity for use, which I'll explain that when we get to it. We're gonna look at the price, what I like, what I don't like, and ultimately, my thoughts on whether or not you should spend your money on assets from Motion VFX. I'm gonna give you my, my unbiased opinion, and I promise you, it's not what you think it is. And yes, in case you were wondering, that was my not so subtle way to tell you to keep watching till the end of the video. All right, let's start with quality. I, I mean, hands down, these things 
are super high quality. A lot of times when you get your hands on these drag and drop effects or titles or whatever, you gotta do a lot of tweaking and reconfiguring and just messing around in order to actually get it looking right and to get it looking good. These are good out of the box. I mean, at most, sometimes I have to resize something or change the color to match my branding. But other than that, these look really, really good, super high quality, right right out of the box. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I mean, really, even with the titles, I rarely change the font because it just looks good. As far as ease of use is concerned, yeah, these things are super easy to use. You literally just drag them from your effects library onto your timeline. You change the text to whatever you want. You change the colors to match your branding and boom, you're done. Everything that can be changed is able to be changed from the inspector in the edit page. These are all fusion elements, but you don't actually have to go into fusion to switch them around and make them look the way you want them to look. Even the LUTs in the MLUT Cine pack is just, they're really, really good. They take very, very little tweaking in order to make them look good. It's, it's crazy. So yeah, super easy to use, drag and drop, very little tweaking necessary, and anything that you do want to tweak can be tweaked very easily right from the inspector. So yeah. Good, good job, Motion VFX. You just hit it out of the park with that. Now let's talk about opportunity for use. And, and here's what I mean by that. There, sometimes you'll spend money on something that you're only gonna use one time, and then they're just gonna be taking up room on your computer or in your closet or whatever. So one of the things that I look at before I spend money on a product is, is this something that I'm going to be able to use over and over and over again? Is this something that really will bring me value over time and will save me time or whatever, whatever it is I'm looking for it to do. Is it going to do that over and over and over again? Or is this like a, a one-time thing? And I, I'm very happy to say, especially with the MTuber 2 pack, which has a whole bunch of stuff like social media graphics and subscribe animations and all kinds of stuff specifically for YouTubers. I can use that stuff over and over again. Any time that I do like a production short or maybe when I finally get to working on a short film, their M title cine pack just has a ton of options that I can use. And I mean, you saw every single title, almost every single title that I used in that intro sequence was from the M title cine pack. So they're really high quality and there are a bunch of different styles that you can just use over and over and over again. And even the LUTs, I mean, they're, they're, they're great. And I would definitely use them to color grade a lot of footage. I'm not a huge fan of LUTs normally, but these are really like surprisingly good. So basically what I'm saying is while I may not use every single item that I have every single time I make a video, I will use a lot of them enough to justify the cost. So yes, opportunity for use is definitely there. This is not a super niche thing that you're only going to use one time. All right, let's move on to price. The one thing that everybody is waiting for, if you haven't already clicked the link and gone to check them out for yourself, which I know, I know some of you have done. Don't, don't lie to me. Pricing for motion VFX elements is actually fairly, I would say standard. I mean, you've got your M hello pack, which is free. It's a great little sampler. So you can kind of get your feet wet and figure out if you're going to be interested in any of the other packs. And then you've got all of the packs that include like titles and uh, templates and motion graphics, stuff like that. Those are usually between $79 and $99. LUTs are typically about $89 for a pack, but you're getting like 35 LUTs in each pack. So that's actually a, a fairly good price, especially when you consider that I was selling like a 10 LUT pack for 25 bucks. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Now the stock elements pack, so the fire, the smoke, the fog, all the stuff that you can use for compositing, that's a little bit more expensive. It's about $149 per pack, but that's actually a pretty good price for stock elements. I mean, if you think about action VFX, which is to this day, my favorite place to get stock elements, they're, they're also linked below, but they, they, I mean, that, that can be $300 for a pack of, you know, fire effects. 
So $149, that's pretty good. Now, all of these prices that I'm telling you are one-time payments. There are no subscriptions. I know a lot of you hate subscriptions. So this should be good news for you. Me personally, I don't necessarily mind subscriptions depending what it is. And in this case, I kind of wish there was a subscription option, but we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. So that's pricing. Let's get down to the actual like review review. What I like, what I don't like. Should you buy this? Let's let's get down and dirty here. As far as what I like, I, I absolutely love that everything is super high quality. I love that it's easy to use and I love that everything is kind of sold separately in different categorical packs. That was a that was a big word. Uh, but I, I love how everything is kind of, you know, categorized and sold separately. So that means you can spend money only on the things that you want and not, and you can just leave the stuff that you don't want behind. You don't have to download a whole bunch of crap that you're never going to use in order to get to the few things that you are. I love that about motion VFX. As far as what I don't like, honestly, it was, it was hard to come up with something that I don't like, but I felt like I needed to come up with something, right? Cause this is supposed to be an unbiased review and I feel like it kind of sounds like a commercial up to this point because I just absolutely love them. But, but I dug deep and here's what I came up with. First of all, compared to their Final Cut Pro library, the DaVinci Resolve library is pretty thin. But again, they just started making stuff for DaVinci Resolve and they're coming out with packs fairly quickly. I mean, in the last week, they came out with M Title Cine and M Intro 2. So if that's any indication to how much they're working on the DaVinci Resolve side of things, we should probably expect to see a lot more products from them coming soon. The other thing that I don't like is that there's no subscription option. I know a lot of us hate subscriptions. I, I get it, you know, and I, 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 I understand. I understand where you're coming from. Subscriptions can sometimes suck. However, there is so much to motion VFX that I could use in my work that I kind of wish I could pay like maybe a monthly price in order to have unlimited access to everything that they have. It's just, that's personal preference for me, but I, I love having the options of being able to do a subscription or just buy something outright. You don't really have the option here. You just kind of got to buy things as you need them, which can be good, but sometimes you need them when you don't have the money for them and, and then and then what? But that's really it. Like as far as things that I don't like, I haven't found anything about the product itself, any of the packs or anything like that. I, I, that I don't like. I mean, nothing has like overloaded my GPU. Nothing, nothing has crashed. Nothing hasn't worked. It's everything is just working and it's easy to use. And it's, there's nothing about the product that I don't like. Let's just, I'll just flat out say it, you know, it's just kind of things on the business side. I, I, I wish there were more packs for DaVinci Resolve. I understand they are coming and I kind of wish there was a subscription option that would give me unlimited access to all of their stuff. Now, as far as should you buy this or not, this is a part in the video where I'm supposed to say, yeah, this is a no brainer. You should absolutely click the link in the description, purchase something from Motion VFX and help support this channel, right? Wrong. Here's the deal. For me, Motion VFX is a no brainer. And the reason why is because I'm in the fortunate position to be making money off of the videos that I make for this YouTube channel and the videos that I edit for my clients. So these things actually save me time. And when I save time, I can do more work. And when I can do more work, I can make more money. So I can get a return on investment with motion VFX. Plus I kind of suck at fusion. So this really, really helps because I, I honestly don't have the time to really dive in and learn how to make this stuff for myself. But the fact is, all of these elements were made in Fusion, which means it's entirely possible to go into Fusion, take the time to learn it, make these things yourself from scratch without having to spend money on Motion VFX. So if you're not gonna see an ROI on the money that you would spend on Motion VFX, if you have the time to dive into Fusion and learn how to make things like animated titles and motion graphics on your own, 
then no, I don't think you should buy Motion VFX. I think you should dive into Fusion and learn how to make it on your own. It's another skill that you'll learn and you'll save yourself some money. But if you don't have the time to spend learning Fusion, if you are in a position where time is money and you want a super easy to use drag and drop way to add really high quality assets to your videos, then yeah, I think Motion VFX is a no brainer and you should absolutely click the link in the description and, and, and start diving in and, you know, help support this channel a little bit. But at the very least, what I think you should all do is at least go click the link in the description and pick up the M Hello pack from Motion VFX. It's 100% free and you'll get a nice little sampler. A fun fact, this end screen was from the MTuber 2 pack from Motion VFX. Now go watch this video right here and don't forget to subscribe Subscribe to the channel for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll help you make better videos. Thanks for watching.